2019 was a banner year for the St. Louis Association of Community Organizations. This is the year that I discovered the Hodemont Tracks, which was an abandoned streetcar line and would possibly become a great venture for some entity to repurpose. 2019 was the year that we worked on doing one of the largest cleanups in the city of St. Louis. Over 400 people came out, 200 residents, 200 other volunteers to pick up the clean way and to convince uh, Great Rivers Greenway that this would be the perfect location for a project. In the last year and a half, we put together the pilot park in the West End that was done in such a way that we had more than 30 residents participating in installing and designing that park. From that, we were able to receive Regional Business Council grants, Operation Brightside grants, uh, the National Endowment for the Arts, Our Town grant, and many other funding sources to create additional parks in the seven neighborhoods. We brought residents together to record their oral histories, which will be put into a written format to include in the little libraries, as well as be the basis of the artwork that will go into the new four parks. Our first intern designed the uh, mural along the Hodemont tracks, and the coming interns will design the portraits that will go on either side of the graphic along the Hodemont tracks. Slaco and St. Louis Arts Chamber reached out to Community Engineering Corps our team is providing engineering design services pro bono to our clients to turn these parks into a reality. The project has two primary goals. One, stormwater management. So the St. Louis Metropolitan Sewer District has a consent decree with the EPA where they need to reduce their combined sewer overflows. As part of that, they've set up a grants program to pay landowners to improve their stormwater management at the source. Our sewers, both the waste that goes down the sink and then the rainwater, go into the same system, a combined sewer system, which means that when it rains, the system can become over capacity very easily. And what that can happen is a raw sewage outflow into our waterways, which is not good environmentally for public health on a whole number of fronts. So the idea is if you can separate your sewer systems or lower the amount of volume that goes into your combined sewer, anything that contributes to that helps. So the idea behind doing stormwater BMPs is instead of when it rains, uh, this rain just turning into runoff that goes directly into the streets, what happens is you can use nature to work for you to infiltrate this rainwater. And a nice benefit of that is that you get these beautiful gardens. The second goal is connection to the proposed Great Rivers Greenway uh, Hortemont tracks. These parks will serve as a connection from the neighborhoods to the Greenway. So we set out to break the divide. This is why we are working on the Hortemont tracks, because it is to become a catalyst for neighborhood redevelopment. We latched on to St. Louis Arch Chamber, who has been very, very helpful as a partner in uh, making those activities become a reality. And I can truthfully say now that the residents along the track know about that greenway. They're waiting on that greenway and they appreciate the work that's being done.